Hey everyone, welcome back to our videos on probability. And today we're going to introduce multivariate probability distributions. We're not going to go in detail, that's why I called it introduction. Okay, the first example I'm going to look at is, you know, the distribution of COVID-19 reported cases in the U.S. and deaths by age group. So here I have two variables, so multivariate, meaning I've got to buy variate distribution of age group against COVID-19 cases in the USA. And you could see that, you know, the number of cases reported are higher for 18 and 29 years uh, age bucket compared to, let's say, 85 plus or 75 to 84. But again, when you see, even though 85 plus years didn't really make up a huge share of the cases for COVID-19, now on the right here, we introduce another variable, the third variable, which is deaths due to COVID-19 that are reported in the USA. 85 plus individuals in the US, you know, had a really high rate of death, even though they didn't make up a huge share of the cases that are reported. So here in this view, I have three variables. Let's say variable X, cases of COVID-19, variable Y, deaths of co due to COVID-19 in the US, and variable Z, which is age group. So I'm looking at three variables together, and that gives you much more and interesting view than just looking at one variable on its own. Again, this second plot is really similar to the to the first one and that here I have actually the percentage of 85 plus individuals in the USA uh, that made up, you know, the share of cases reported. The share of deaths reported to the percentage of deaths due to COVID-19 uh, is really high for 85 plus years. They made up, you know, close to 32% of deaths by March 20, 2021. But even though they made up only 2.39% of reported cases, their share of deaths is much higher. So you can see how much, how much harder and how much severe uh, this disease has been for the older population. Again, this gives you a multivariate view, gives you much interesting view than just a univariate view and that's why uh, we want to study multivariate probability distributions let's give you another example and, and this view that you see is a a treatment group that received covid moderna covid19 vaccinations was about 14,550, and about similar number of individuals were in the study but they were in the placebo group, meaning that they did not take the active ingredient of the vaccine. As you can see, as we'll bring in a second variable of whether these individuals showed symptomatic COVID-19 cases or severe COVID-19 cases. And you can see those individuals in the vaccine, only 11 of them showed by by December, I think, but December 2020, only 11 of them show symptomatic COVID-19 symptoms, COVID-19 symptoms, while 185 in the placebo group and the control group showed COVID-19 symptoms. And none of the individuals in the vaccine group had severe COVID-19. And 30 individuals in the placebo group had severe COVID-19. So this is a multivariate view. One variable, let's say variable X, could be whether or not a person received a placebo or the actual vaccine. And another variable could be, you know, whether or not they showed severe COVID-19 symptoms, or they showed some symptoms of COVID-19, or they showed none. So when you look at variables in a multivariate way, Again, you get a better picture of what's happening than just looking at univariate distribution 
uh, of random variables. So that's why we want to study multivariate probability distributions. And the next example I am going to look at is, is there a relationship between SAT score of high school students or and their first year college GPA? This plot right here is showing you the, 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 the scatter plot of those two variables. And it looks like there is some sort of relationship from this plot. Okay. And also you might, you might wonder, is there a relationship between high school GPA and the first year G, first year college GPA? Is there a relationship between high school GPA and SAT score? Now this is the plot that shows you that or this one. So, you know, sometimes instead of just analyzing college, first year, college or university grade point averages it might be interesting to look at it in, 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 in a multivariate way in a joint way with you know with high school GPA or SAT score or even other variables that are I don't have here for instance where they came from a high school with you know very expensive tuition or are, are the are the students coming from a high school in the inner cities? So there's a lot of variables you can put together and look at them in a multivariate way. And researchers do that so that they understand the relationship between variables. One more example, and then I will leave you. This is an, an auto claim, auto insurance claim data set that I found from the Our Package CPLM. And I, you know, when I look at the distribution of whether or not a policyholder is married or not, and the average annual insurance, uh, auto insurance claim paid for that, for those policyholders, you see that, you know, married policyholders had lower auto insurance claims. Maybe they had, they, the fact that you're married makes you more, you know, um, responsible and you don't get as you don't get into many accidents as people who are not married so this is another view in a multivariate way you know you may wonder well might be age you know married people tend to be older are you looking you know are you implicitly embedding age in here so let's look at you know include age so on the the plot on the left is what i shared earlier the plot on the right is again splitting out married versus not by age group and looking at their average annual auto insurance claim on the y-axis and still you know there's some sort of relationship that persists that there is a gap between whether or not a policyholder is married and you can also see something else in this plot on the right that you know the younger individuals tend to have higher uh, insurance claims than older individuals you see like a, a decreasing trend of by age so looking at things multivariate way again as you can see reveals more insight than just looking at one variable and that's why we want to study multivariate probability distributions so in the upcoming lessons we will study joint probability distributions. We will start with two variables, you know, bivariate prob joint probability distributions, and we will generalize it to more than two. And we will study conditional probability distribution. For example, given a person is married, what is your expected annual insurance claim for that person? So that's conditioned on the, the marital status. So that's conditional probability distribution. We'll look at marginal probability distribution. And looking, looking at, you know, given you have a joint distribution, how can you tease out the individual one variable marginal probability distribution? And we will look, we will look at correlations and covariances between random variables, two or more random variables. And we also look at what we mean by independence of a random variable. So we have two random variables. We got a joint distribution of them. Are these two random variables independent of each other and so on. So we look at those things in the upcoming videos and on probability. All right, stick around and subscribe to this channel and we'll see you around.